The beautiful surroundings of Woburn Abbey provide a unique backdrop to one of the UK's most renowned golfing venues. Woburn Golf and Country Club has grown since its creation in the late 1970s and now boasts three championship courses. Located about 50 miles north of central London and originally founded as a Cistercian Abbey, Woburn was taken from its monastic residence in 1547 and given to the Duke of Bedford. A descendant of this line, the Marquess of Tavistock, transformed the estate in 1974 when she commissioned Charles Laurie to design the Duke's course. The fairways of the Dukes are flanked by pine, silver birch and chestnut trees, a feature which has become synonymous with Woburn over the years. When you've got trees and the course is narrow, it sort of I, I just like the way I line up to it, you know, I feel, I feel good on it and uh, I just have always enjoyed playing this course. I love this course, this is without doubt one of my favourites in the world. I've been playing here since 79 I think. It's just a class golf course. It's been here for so long. It's well established. Uh, every shot in the bag you need for the 18 holes. It's not demandingly long. It's not short. It's just right. Par threes are great. Par fives are good. It looks magnificent. As well as acting as a haven for local wildlife, the Dukes has played host to several professional tournaments over the years. In 1979, the course's long-standing relationship with the British Masters began. This was an event which attracted top-class players from both sides of the Atlantic. The tight woven setup allowed Seve to exhibit his famous skills of recovery on many occasions. He won there twice, first in 1986 and again in 1991. In 1985, Lee Trevino prevailed in the final round of the tournament. His approach shot to the last set up a certain eagle. And that helped him seal the last of the titles he won on British soil at the age of 45. The draw of Woburn brought in many of the game's greats during the 1980s and 1990s, some of them going on to achieve victories of their own. The Marquis course opened in the year 2000 and is the latest addition to the Woburn Trio. It played host to the British Masters in 2001 and again in 2002. That year it was the scene of a final day tussle between Woburn's touring professional Ian Poulter and the eventual winner, his good friend Justin Rose. After some quality goal from both players, it came down to putts on the 18th green. Rose holed out nicely. And when Poulter missed out on a putt to force a playoff, Rose claimed his second European Tour title. The Marquis course went on to hold its last tour event when Henrik Stenson won the Heritage there in 2004. Its older counterpart, the Dukes, continues to stage the European Senior Masters every year and is still held in high regard by those with memories of how it all began. <laughs> Woburn boasts some of the finest golfing facilities in the British Isles. The Duke's famed for its classic design and idyllic location stands out as a course of the highest quality. So if you get a chance to play there, seize the opportunity with both hands and enjoy.